this is Dr. Buford. We just wanted to do a little anatomy evaluation. This is a right shoulder. This patient is in the lateral decubitus position. And we just have a real good shot of the anatomy in the anterior superior quadrant of the shoulder. This is the middle glenohumeral ligament. Now this is a, an 18 gauge needle, just to give you an idea. And you can see how wispy this middle glenohumeral ligament is. That's the entire ligament. So at least in this patient, this would not be a structure we could target because the needle would just pass right through it, as you see. Okay, you can see how wispy that middle glenohumeral ligament is, okay? Behind it is the much more substantial superior edge of the subscapularis tendon. So this that I'm touching with the tip of the needle, that's the subscapularis. You can see how it runs at an angle and it inserts up at the top here into the lesser tuberosity of the proximal humerus. So this is the leading edge of the subscap. Arthroscopically, we can only see about the superior one-third or maybe at most one-half, but this is all subscap tendon here. You can see the edge there. Okay, and here's the middle glenohumeral ligament crossing the subscap right there. So there's a pretty good depiction of the middle glenohumeral ligament. Now down below, we will see the inferior glenohumeral ligament. Okay, so we'll get our orientation. So here's the middle glenohumeral ligament paralleling it, but more inferior is the inferior glenohumeral ligament. This is it. This is the labrum, the IGL, or inferior glenohumeral ligament. It's this fold in the capsule right here. Okay? There it is right there. So it's a little bit more robust structure, a little bit more of a capsular thickening than the MGL, which again, here's the MGL right here. Okay? Here's the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And then running up to the left down here below is the subscapularis tendon. This is the glenoid. Now this is the posterior aspect of the shoulder. You can see here there's no significant posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament in this particular patient. Okay. And those are the two major ligaments in the front of the shoulder that we can see. As far as the superior glenohumeral ligament, we can't really see that because it would be behind the biceps. And uh, that's not really a structure that we can typically see and target um, arthroscopically.